if some video is lahat ng religious groups ay may sarili-sariling uh, claim or pinanghahawakan. No? It can be a belief, it can be the Bible, the Muslims have their Quran, ang mga Iglesia ni Cristo may sarili silang book, kahit ang Jehovah's Witnesses. But one thing that separates us, children of God, is the Holy Spirit in us. Would you agree to that? Amen. The Holy Spirit in you cannot be duplicated, it cannot be fake, it cannot be replicated, hindi yung pwede ikabi because it is unique in you. That's the one that makes you stand out. Makilala ng mundo na kristyano ka because of the Holy Spirit in you. That's why I ask you, enjoy me to say, Holy Spirit, we need you. Dahil kailangan talaga natin. In everything we do, we need the Holy Spirit. Introduction na pala <laughs> Anyway, I hope we, we, we all agree to that and we all agree to the truth. Na wala tayong magagawa without the Holy Spirit. Okay. The topic, to whom are you listening? Sino ba ang pinapakinggan natin ngayon? Sa generation natin ngayon, pakikisahin natin sa generation na ito. Okay, medyo matanda na ako. Hindi lang medyo. But we are in the midst of an electronic generation. No? Pagising sa umaga, cell phone. Before matulog, cell phone. Instant communication, instant information. Instant entertainment. May panahon pa ba tayo makinig sa Panginoon? Because all these things are competing with our time with God. Do we still have time to listen to the Lord? He wants to communicate, communicate with us. He wants to talk with you. Right from the start. In the Old Testament, He spoke through the prophets. In the New Testament, there was Jesus. In our time, He has given us the Holy Spirit. So the question is not, is God speaking? But the question now is, are we listening? No? Hindi, na, hindi, na, hindi na tayo magtatanong, nangungusap ba ang Panginoon? Because hindi na gano'n ang tanong ngayon eh. Nakikinig ba tayo? We have the Bible, we have the Holy Spirit. Ano pa ang kailangan natin? The thing is, we fall into the tactic of the enemy yung ginagawa ng kaaway na mag-busy tayo. Mag-busy tayo saan? Sa cell phone sa social media, mabisi tayo sa mga gawain sa bahay, to the point na hindi na tayo nakikinig sa Panginoon. Uh, we have those texts, John 14, 26, uh, you just write them down, and all, the, all of these texts are saying that God or the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. No? Uh, one scripture, can we go to the next Slide puzzle. One scriptural principle is our ears are tuned to whatever holds our hearts and minds. Kung saan yung puso at isipan natin, doon tayo nakafocus. Ang question ngayon, saan ba ang puso at isipan natin? Is it on the material things? Sa mga trabaho natin? Sa mga relationship natin? I mean, these are all things, these all things are competing to us listening to God. It can be our family, it can be our desire to have more money, to have more material things. It can even be ourselves. That we listen to ourselves more than we listen to God. So we, we need to be clear of this sa mga sarili natin. We need to ask ourselves, saan ba nakatune yung, yung, yung ears ko? Yung isipan ko? Is it with God? Or is it with the things that I have here on earth? If this world is our main focus, we will hear the messages of the world. Kung ang focus natin is dito sa mundo, ang maririnig natin ang mundo. I am always reminded, pag uwi natin ang Filipinas, yung naglalaki ang billboards na makikita natin, we are traveling from EDSA. The instant na mag-meditate ka, nakita pagkalaki-laki yung Jollibee doon eh. Pagkalaki yung Chow King. No, McDonald's or yung mga, mga models and no, And if we are not careful, 
yung pandinig natin sa Panginoon ay natatagunan because of this things. Kahit yung mga bagay na yun, it drowns out the voice of God that is speaking to us. It drowns out the Holy Spirit yung nangungusap sa atin. So we need to set our focus. Saan ba talaga ako? As a child of God, saan ko ba ilalagay yung focus ko? Yeah? If our hearts are set on Christ, then we will make time to quietly listen for His guidance and instruction. Kung nakaset yung puso natin kay Kristo sa Panginoon natin, then we will find time to sit down and listen to God. Ito na ngayon ang tanong sa mga sarili natin. Saan ba ako nakafocus ngayon? Nakafocus na ba ako sa Facebook? Kung anong sinasabi ng mga kaibigan ko? Kasi yun ang inaun ako? Or dapat bang uunahin ko muna yung Kristo na sinasabi kong sinasamba ko? Okay? Alright. Many people have never learned to discern His voice. Bakit kaya? Hindi na narinig ng karamihan ang voice ng Panginoon. Na-establish na natin na nangungusap ang Panginoon hanggang ngayon. Pero marami sa atin ang hindi na nakarinig. We all have our own reasons. Bakit hindi natin narinig ang Panginoon? I just like to enumerate a few. Okay? Yeah. We, 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 have, we have reasons why we were able to listen to God. First, we don't have a relationship with Him. Yun ang una. Kung wala kang relationship sa Panginoon, hindi mo talaga siya marinig. You need to establish a relationship. The Lord, you are my God and I need to listen to you. You are the one that is reigning in my heart and it is just right to listen to you. Although the Lord calls everyone to salvation, those who reject His offer will find that they cannot hear His voice. Ang salvation is para sa lahat. No? Pero bakit napakaraming tao hindi tinatanggap ang salvation niya? It is a free offer. They reject that offer because they do not have a relationship with God. They do not have a belief na may Panginoon. So if you do not have a relationship with God, then you surely will not hear His voice. Next, many people don't expect that the Lord will speak to them. Yung para bang napaka-imposible na mag-usap ang Panginoon kasi hindi nangyari eh. Hindi naman sa lahat tayo nakirinig ng audible na voice ng Panginoon. So some of us will not expect na mag-usap ang Panginoon and it is unbelievable. Because the Bible clearly says that He is speaking to us. It may not be an audible voice but He is speaking to us through His Word and through His Holy Spirit. So we need to set our hearts, we need to expect na mangungusap ang Panginoon sa atin. In our quiet times, in our personal devotion, we need to expect that God would speak to us. Next, bakit hindi nakarinig? The messages of the world drown out God's voice. Ano-ano na bang pinapakinggan natin mga music? Ouch. <laughs> ano na ba ang mga binabasa natin? <coughs> Where are we spending our time? If it is in the world, then do not expect to hear God's voice. Kasi madaling ma-drown out ang, Panino- ang, ang voice ng Panginoon if you are not fo- me, focused on Him. Instead of being concerned about the things of the world, Believe believers should seek to know what is going on in God's mind and what He wants to do in their lives each day. That's why we are admonished, we are advised to seek the mind of God. No? And how do we do that? Quiet time, devotion. We will never learn the mind of God. We will never know what He wants us to do if we do not seek Him in His word. And if we do not do that, how can we hear Him? Kaya napaka-importance. I praise God dahil sa SOD dumadami na natin devotion. No, it is a blessing. I mean, I know some of us are not into that yet. But I pray that in God's own time and by the help of the Holy Spirit, He would convict each one of us 
to really sit down and spend God, spend time with God. Dahil doon lang natin siya maririnig every day. Hindi sapat, it's not enough to come here every Sunday para makikinig ng word ng Panginoon. Dahil napaka, napakahaba ng Monday to Saturday na wala tayong pinapakay sa mga sarili natin. If we do not do that, talaga mag-drown out yung voice ng Panginoon. If between Sunday and Saturday wala sa atin, we do not seek God. If we only come to the Sunday, yes, we give Him on a Sunday, through the preachings, through the teachings, but what about Monday to Saturday? Kaya napaka-importante that in our own time, we need God. Next, they don't think He has ever spoken to them. Hindi sila naniniwala na nangungusap ang Panginoon. They don't believe He ever, He will ever speak to them clearly. No? Those are the kind of people na hindi naman nagsasalita ang Panginoon eh. Wala akong narinig sa Kanya. Bakit pa ako makikinig? Para saan ba? No? I hope we do not feel, fall into this category na hindi na tayo naniniwala na mamungusap sa atin ang Panginoon. Because again, as I said, in those verses, He is still speaking to us today. And next is, our minds are close to His voice. Sarado na tayo. Sarado na yung paniniwala natin na, no, God, God is not going to speak to you. Okay? And another thing sa mga Christiano is, we do not want to listen to God because we are afraid of what He is going to say to us. No? Baka ipag, yung ipagawa kasi ng Panginoon, hindi ko gusto eh. Yung baka sabihin sa akin ng Panginoon na hindi siya yung boyfriend na napakasayuri. Or baka sabihin sa akin ng Panginoon na mag-serve ka sa akin, huwag ka na magtrabaho. Sometimes we do that, we, 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 we were scared. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano ipagawa sa atin ng Panginoon. Not knowing na kung ano man ipagawa sa atin ng Panginoon, blessings pa rin. And not doing the will of God, mawawala yung blessing. Kasi sinusuway natin. Kaya napaka-importante na makinig tayo sa Panginoon. Because it is only when we hear God clearly, that His blessings will follow. So, let, let, let's have that habit. And, uh, another thing, they have neglected reading and meditating on the Bible, nasabi ko na yun. And, they are deceived by the sounds of the world. Kasi yun na ang napapakinggan eh. Kaya may mga Kristiyano na na nagkukonform ng lifestyle nila into what the world is telling them. No? Maraming mga Kristiyano na sasabihin, uh, hindi kasi ito ang king sa mundo eh. Hindi ko, hindi ko nalang gagawin. Hindi ako, ma, hindi ako ma, ma-accept na makaibigan ko kung, kung mag, mag-fellowship ako eh. Kung hindi ako sasama sa kanila. No? That is one thing, that is one example that we are already deceived by what the world is dictating to us. And one big thing, bakit hindi tayo makarinig sa Panginoon is sin. We are harboring sin in our hearts. We have not confessed everything to the Lord. God can never speak to you if you are cherishing some sin. Hindi talaga mamungusap ang Panginoon. You will, hindi mo mabibigyan ang inang chance ang Panginoon na mamungusap sa'yo if you are holding on to something na alam mo, ayaw ng Panginoon. Alam mo na hindi dapat yan. Hindi naka-glorify sa Panginoon. So those are the reasons bakit hindi natin narinig. Why we don't listen to God. The next is, if God is speaking, then how can we identify His voice? Ang adami question sa SOD, sa mga Bible studies, sa cell groups, ang dami ng tanong, paano ko ba tayo na paninig ang Panginoon? No? Hindi naman siya, kahit pag-earphone na ko, wala naman kung marinig eh. Di ba? Kasi he, he is not that God nowadays. 
before he spoke through the prophets, no? Audibly. Naririnig nila. So in our days, paano? First, his voice is consistent with the word. Hindi yun magpontradict. So dapat, kung ano yung naririnig mo, i-verify mo sa salita niya. Then, and only then, you can be sure that it is God speaking to you. Kaya hindi tayo dapat pwede makula. Na parang sa Panginoon yun eh. No? Na, ang Panginoon niya kayo nangusap sa akin eh. Or we have to say, God is speaking to me. But is it in the Word of God? Can we validate it sa Word ng Panginoon? No? So again, dapat yung marinig mo na voice ng Panginoon is consistent. Kung ano yung sinasabi sa Bible. Remember, God's Word is His mind na pinapakita, written on paper. Next, paano natin ma-identify? His message will often conflict with human nature. Mas to conflict yan sa mga kung anong gusto ng mga laman natin. Spirit and flesh are two opposing things. Hindi yan talaga mag-agree. So dapat i-clear natin sa mga sarili natin na sandali, bakit? Bakit parang parang hindi tama yung narinig ko sa ano yung gusto ko. No? Then we can ask, yung gusto ko ba is yun, yun ang narinig ko sa Panginoon? Or is it just because I want to do it? It's, it's my desire, my own desire. No? Again, often times, magkukonflict yan sa, sa human nature. And next is, it will always clash with the fleshly ideas yung mga idea na mga sarili natin. Often times, or it will always clash kung ano yung sasabihin ng Panginoon. Bakit? God never leads us into activities or relationships that contradict His Word. Hindi kanya ililid into relationships or into something that He wants you to do that would contradict His Word. Okay, another thing. Para, para ma-identify natin yung, yung voice ng Panginoon. The Lord always challenges our faith. Ano ang ibig sabihin nun? He wants us to grow in faith and He sometimes calls us to face our fears so that we can trust Him more. No? It's a challenge tayo ng Panginoon. Kasi para nagsasabi tayo every Sunday na Lord, nariniwala ako sa'yo. Kaya sabi sa, okay, itinan natin po hanggang sa aming pariniwala mo. And He will put you into trials that would prove na talagang naniniwala ka. And in there, God will speak to you. Okay? Y- y- yung mga challenges sa faith mo na yun, kung magpapatuloy ka pa sa Panginoon, or mag-discourage ka, or huwag ka nalang mag-devotion dahil kung ano anong nagtunanin mo, kung anong na- nakikita mo sa mga nagde-devotion na yung mga kapatiran natin, pero ano yung mga nakikita natin sa buhay nila, that is part of the testing of our faith. But they discourage ako dahil ito yung klase ng buhay nila. Or because they're acting this way na hindi dapat. But they discourage ako sa sarili ko. And it would prevent God speaking to you. It is a challenge of your faith. And His voice is often quiet. So if His voice is quiet, I am not in Malini. Instead of answering our prayers in dramatic ways, the Lord often speaks to our hearts quietly and unexpectedly in the normal course of the day. Now, kadalasan, hindi sasagutin, hindi mangungusap ang Panginoon sa'yo ng yung, yung mga dramatic, kagaya ng mga conversion ni, sino ba? Kagaya ng conversion ni Paul, na talagang nangungusap ang Panginoon na, Soul, soul, why are you, ano yung term yun? Why have you forsaken? Forsaken? Why, why are you persecuted? Yeah. But there are times na hindi na. In the quietness of our heart, maririnig na lang natin ang Panginoon. Because remember, in one of our learnings as SOB, God's voice is louder than our thoughts. Alam natin na ang Panginoon ang pangungusap dahil alam natin na hindi galing sa atin. If you are spending time with God, you would know that it is Him speaking to you. 
And he is always kusun. Kung ano yung pagawa niya sa'yo. Because the Lord loves us so much, He wants us to know exactly what He is saying. He is specific sa sinasabi niya sa'yo. He will not give you na magdududa ka. Anong sasabihin niya. So those are, those are the things that we can identify His voice. No? Kaya al- alam ko, marami sa atin dito makapag-testify that God is speaking to us in a specific way. Kaya nabago yung mga buhay natin because God is speaking to our hearts. And we are listening. Nakikinig tayo. Okay. The next question. Why do we need to listen to the Lord? Bakit kailangan? Eh pwede naman magbasa eh. Or pwede naman pakinggan ko talagang sa radio. I, I can live my own life. I can be independent. Bakit kailangan ko pang makinig sa Panginoon? First, we need to listen to the Lord to make decisions. Ang mga decisions natin sa buhay, kailangan natin makinig ng guidance ng Panginoon. Because God is interested in every aspect of our lives, He wants to guide each choice that we make. <coughs> da- da- dapat bawat choice, da- da- dapat before tayo gagawa ng decisions, makinig tayo sa Panginoon. Maraming masisay na heartaches kung makinig tayo sa Panginoon if we learn how to listen to His voice. Next, we need to listen to the Lord because we need to be encouraged. Ang dali lang kaya ma- ma-discourage pagpunta dito. Ang dali lang kaya magsabi, huwag na lang Lord, hindi na ako mag-devotion. No? Mas, mas marami naman dapat gawin sa mundo eh. Mas mas ma-accept pa ako ng mga tao. That's why, if you need encouragement, if you think you are feeling down, if you think you are low in your spiritual life, you need to listen to God. No one can encourage our hearts like the Lord. Ang Panginoon lang talaga maka-encourage. He has of brethren, no? Na makapag-advise sa atin. But unless we need the specific encouragement of God, then only then, ma-feel natin that we are in Christ. We are fired up to serve Him. We have to listen to Him or we will miss Him. No? That only in church, Lord. Next is, we need to listen to the Lord to receive comfort. Sometimes we just need to be reminded that He loves us unconditionally and is always ready to help us through difficult circumstances. Saan ba tayo makakuha ng comfort kung hindi sa Panginoon na? So those who are grieving, those who are in times of difficulties, no one can comfort you best than the Lord. Yes, pre-provide ng Panginoon ang mga kapatiran natin. Yes, we are here to comfort each other. Pero yung complete na comfort, yung satisfying and fulfilling comfort, manglagali na sa Panginoon. That's why we need to be sent to Him. Next, to be strengthened. Whenever we need the will, determination, and confidence to keep going, God can strengthen us. If we keep on listening to God, reading His Word, we will be strengthened. Because Siya ang mabigay ng strength natin. And, wow, this is good. We need to listen to the Lord to receive God's best. Paano matagap yung best na pwede kung hindi ka nakikinig? The Lord always does what's best when we wait for His directions and heed His instructions. Pray tayo ng pray. Lord, gusto ko yung best na mangyari sa buhay ko. Dapat yung best lang, Lord. Pero nakikinig pa tayo. No? It is always God's intention to give His best to you. Kailan tayo ang nagbigay ng, res- ng reason bakit hindi natin matagap ng rest. Because we fail to listen to Him. And another thing is to benefit from His protection. When we follow the Lord's guidance and make good choices, He protects us from wrong relationships and activities. So if we learn to listen to the Lord, we can be assured of His protection. Dahil hindi kadadalihin ng Panginoon sa kapahamakan. 
if you only know how to listen, how to hear his voice, you can be assured of his protection. Okay, last question. Ano ba ang consequences of failing to listen to God? Ano ba ang posible mangyari? Kung hindi tayo nakikinig sa Panginoon. First, the world will draw us away from Him if we ignore His voice. Mapalayo at mapalayo lang tayo sa Panginoon. And that's the start of everything going down. No? If we fail to listen to the Lord, to, to listen to the voice of the Lord, ang isang consequence is mapalayo tayo sa Kanya. And that should be a warning signal sa atin. Then, we will be deceived. Madali tayo ma-deceived by other voices. And another thing is, we will make costly decisions based on human reasoning rather than divine guidance. So minsan yung mga decision natin na magagawa, costly hindi lang sa atin kahit sa mga tao nakapaligid sa atin because we made the wrong decision or because we failed to listen to God. All right. Our wrong decisions hurt not just ourselves. Remember, you, you were a, nakagawa ka ng wrong decision first and foremost because hindi ka nakikinig sa Panginoon. Then ang consequence noon, it would hurt you and not only you but the fa- your family as well. So yung consequence of failing to listen to the voice of God does not only affect you but the people surrounding you. Yun ang consequence. No? That's why we need to be, I, I don't know how can, I can't overemphasize yung necessity na kailangan talaga natin makinig sa Panginoon. Kasi hindi lang tayo maapektuhan, even the people around us. Everyone suffers when one member refuses to follow the Lord's guidance. And the last thing is, i-differentiate natin, ano ba ang consequence sa mga tao na may paniniwala sa Panginoon but they fail to listen to His voice at sa mga tao, ayaw talagang makinig sa Panginoon. No? There will be eternal consequences. Eternal yung consequence sa mga tao hindi naniniwala. Ayaw makinig sa Panginoon. We know what eternal consequence means. They are heading into eternal death. Ito yung mga tao ayaw makinig. Paano naman sa mga Christians, sa mga believers? Christians who ignore God's voice we lose heavenly rewards. Hindi natin matanggap yung gusto ibigay na Panginoon sa atin dahil hindi tayo nakikinig sa kanya. So yun yung, yun yung dalawang consequence for the believers and for the unbelievers. Mas masaklap yung sa mga unbelievers talaga na ayaw makinig because they would reap eternal consequences. Sa atin naman ng mga naniniwala sa Panginoon malulus natin yung reward natin if we fail to listen to God. And my last slide is kind of a question, I mean, application sa atin. Listening to the Lord and walking obediently before Him every day is the only way to reap the greatest harvest in life now and receive eternal rewards hereafter. So, makikinig tayo, yung pakikinig natin sa Panginoon and being obedient to Him. Yun lang, maha-harvest natin yung reward na para sa atin. Okay, I hope we learn everything. I, again, I cannot offer, offer emphasize sa isang session lang our need to listen to the voice of God. One thing, it would it would show who we really are and it would show our belief sa Panginoon if we are listening to God. So, as we go out, I hope na yung desire natin, God has put the desire in our hearts to listen to Him. Na hindi na natin i-ignore yun and we will listen to the still small voice that is speaking to us. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for this afternoon, for once again, we experience your presence. Once again, we feel you in our hearts. Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus that the words we have heard today 
will be kept safe in our hearts. That wherever we go, Lord, we need to listen to you. We need to hear your voice. We need to establish a relationship with you. Father and Holy Spirit, teach us to walk closer with you every day. Napakasarap, Panginoon, na malaman namin that every time we wake up in the morning, nangungusap ka sa amin. Lord, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, we destroy all the strongholds of the enemy in our lives that is hindering us from listening to you. We claim that there is more power in the name of Jesus than these things that are hindering us. For we want to walk closer with you. We want to hear from you. We want to listen to your voice. For give us a pure and a clean heart so that we can hear you clearly. Father, we cannot do all these things without the help of the Holy Spirit. So once again, we say that we are dependent on what the Holy Spirit is going to, is going to do to us. Lord, we allow the Holy Spirit to continue to mold us, to purify our hearts, and to make us righteous before you. We praise you, we honor you, and we give you all the glory and the praise. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. So now, brother, man, for a wonderful message.